here at Bay 101 at the Shooting Star event with Eugene Kashloff, our chip leader on day 1B. You took home 10000 today. It's a little different than any other tournament. At the end of the day, are you thinking about that 10000 um, I mean, now I'm pretty happy about it because now I'm free rolling it in the tournament. Uh, I was trying not to think about it while playing because I'm not really sure <laughs> what, how I should change my strategy. Uh, so I was trying to play my cards, you know, as I normally would. Um, but, you know, it's certainly a nice surprise to be, to be you know, number one in chips and to win this. You kind of ticked the uh, poker world by storm this last year. You had a great year and, uh, you know, came from nowhere. How long have you been playing poker? I mean, what, what, how did you get your start? All those things. A lot of those people out there don't know. Oh, um, I've been seriously playing poker for maybe about five or six years. Um, I started playing poker maybe seven years ago. So um, I started playing really small and just kind of slowly moved up and then had some success in the, in the live tournament. Uh, with my friends backing and that kind of you know caught, caught the bug and then kind of moved on from there. This term is very unique and it's very different like tomorrow you're gonna have 90 minute levels we're gonna play down to 36 the following day six-handed play does that go into your strategy going forward I mean do you like playing six-handed uh, tables uh, I mean what do you think about as you move forward in this tournament? I actually do like that I mean it, 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 it kind of keeps it being from boring and I, I prefer having longer levels, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And six-handed, I do have some experience playing six-handed, so I don't mind playing six-handed. I mean, it depends on who's on my table, um, but generally I do prefer more short-handed because it requires to, to play, for everyone to play more hands, so which I generally like to do. So, uh, you know, that, that, I, that's my preference. Do you have any bounty strategy? This tournament generally, what happens is the first day you got a lot of the local guys shooting after the bounties. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you got into any of those confrontations today. Did you win any bounties? No, I didn't win any bounties. I kind of—I actually forgot about it, and then I have to keep reminding myself. There was one situation where I raised with a bad hand, and David Williams moved all in, and I think it was like I made it 300, and he made it 2,500, and I had like 25,000. Everyone folded, and I folded. I had a really bad hand, but the point is, like, I would have called if I, but I completely forgot that it was a bounty. Like, I just, it just, you know, because I'm not—I'm so not used to it. So, yeah, it's certainly something that I have to keep pay attention to. Um, I think the days uh, as they go forward, almost 900,000 for first, I think the bounties become less and less important, and I think you'll be able to focus more on that. So yeah. good luck to you so far, and uh, obviously we'll see you tomorrow. We're looking forward to it. Eugene Kachloff and Matt Savage from Bay 101.